You know his work, and today we'll learn more about him. And OK Pop is coming. Are you ready? This and more on Perspective. Well, February has passed, and so too, note of a very special birthday. The latter with very little fanfare, I'm afraid. I didn't see a single story dealing with it, but I heard one, and it was on National Public Radio. It sort of reminded me of the popular 1955 novel, The Mouse That Roared, written by Irish-American writer Leonard Wiberley. That story was also a successful motion picture and Broadway play. But just because I didn't see a story dealing with the special birthday doesn't mean it isn't worth noting. The birth occurred, you see, in a town with less than 10,000 people, Haleyville, Alabama, on February 16, 1968. Seems the year before, the Federal Communications Commission met with AT&T, the mother of all phone companies at the time, to establish an emergency phone number. They wanted a short, easy to remember number, and they also needed a unique number. Since 911 had never been designated for an office code or area code or service code, that was the number they chose. Seems Bob Gallagher, who was then president of the Alabama Telephone Company, was a little bit offended when he heard that no independent phone company had been invited or involved in the 911 emergency decision. So. He got with his inside plant manager, Bob Fitzgerald, and they evaluated the company's 27 phone systems and chose Haleyville, Alabama. Population, much less than 10,000 people, as the site to launch the new system. They worked day and night designing the circuitry and installed the system in less than a week. At 2 p.m. on February 16, 1968, 911 was born. That's right. Rank and fight made the first 911 call in the United States from the mayor's office to Tom Belleville in the Haleyville police station. Belleville answered the call on a bright red rotary phone, which is now on permanent display in the lobby of the city hall. That very first call proved the 911 system would work, and the call impacted the entire world. It was, in fact, the birth of the 911 system as we know it today. Now, the people involved in the development in such a short time bested not only the biggest phone company in the United States, but the federal government as well. Hence, the mouse that really did roar. It also proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that just because you're small doesn't mean you can't get the job done, the American way, with inspiration and hard work. Now, the original phone is still on display in Haleyville. You can drop by any time to see it. Folks in Haleyville are very proud of the fact that the system was designed and built, and the very first call was made in their town by local residents. Every year, the Chamber of Commerce even sponsors a 911 festival, complete with plenty of music, a parade, a tractor pull, crafts for the kids, good food, and of course, you and yours are always invited to the yearly celebration. Not in February, but in June. Also, think about this. How many lives have been saved because of that first 911 call? So, with all that in mind, let me wish 911, the emergency call system that we use in this country, a belated happy birthday. And a salute to the good people in Haleyville, Alabama. Good job, folks. You done proud. I'm Sam Jones, and that's my perspective. Up next, an old friend shares some recent work and bringing an invitation. And after this,